Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing another empties video. I've been waiting for my lipstick to dry down so I can throw a gloss on top of it. Normally, I haven't really been into glosses, but since it's been so dry and cold, uh, I need gloss. Oh, that feels so much better. <laughs> so I have a ton of empties for today. A good mixture. I've got some hair care, skin care, makeup, some lotion, just kind of a little bit of everything. I do have a playlist of all of my empties videos. I'll throw that up in the cards if you're interested. Also, <laughs> I am horrible at counting like which volume of these that I'm on. I'll throw a picture up that I put on my Twitter. I like lost count and like skipped numbers and <laughs> oh so i'd never mention the number in the video because i always have to like look back on my playlist and like see what number i'm at <laughs> ah, that's what happens when you film and try to do all your editing like before 7 a.m but if you guys do want to check out that playlist i'll throw it up in the cards if you want to binge watch but let's just go ahead and jump in i'm gonna try and separate this out and do like the skincare first let's see Okay, starting with skincare, I want to talk about one of my favorite serums and the brand that I really can't find anywhere anymore, and it's actually kind of really upsetting. This is the Measurable Difference, and this is the Lactic Acid Serum. I used to love their Vitamin C Serum. I would pick it up at TJ Maxx or from the Shop Hush app. I don't know if you guys have heard, I saw on um, Jen Love's review, she did a week, not weekly, she did a makeup minute where she talked about how... Apparently Shop Hush is closing. Either they're doing a huge rebranding or they're shutting down. So I've not been able to find this on their app or on their website anymore. And I no longer see these in Marshalls or TJ Maxx, which is very sad. So I'm kind of looking for a new replacement for my morning serum. Cause at night I tend to use my retinols, which I do have an empty of that as well. But in the morning, I like just having a moisturizing serum before I go in with my regular moisturizer. And this used to be my go-to and I loved it. It was so affordable. I loved the packaging. I could get everything out. This was actually my last bottle, so. Next, I have a mini from Physicians Formula. And this is the Rosé All Day Oil-Free Serum. Now, this does say serum. I was using this as a primer. And it actually made a pretty nice primer. It's just I didn't see this last that long and it was a mini and it was still kind of pricey for a mini i know physicians formula is pricey for the drugstore and while i did like this i don't think i would get a full size because of just how pricey it was speaking about my retinol earlier i have an empty of my new favorite nighttime serum this is the cerave skin renewing cream serum i love everything about this from the price to the packaging you can really cut it open and get absolutely everything out i adore this. I actually already have a backup and I have another one that I'm currently using right now. I use this every night in my nighttime skincare routine. I hate this chair. It just creaks whenever I don't want it to creak. And then there. Mm. Next I have an empty from Mario Badescu and this is the facial spray with aloe, herbs, and rose water. I picked up a couple of these like little mini sizes. I'm still finishing up a mini right now. And then since I loved this one so much, I bought two of the full size ones because they're actually fairly affordable and I really like the moisture they add to my skincare routine. I use them morning and night and after I put on all of my serums and then before I put my moisturizer on, I spray this. I really like it. You could also spray it on over your makeup throughout the day if you need some more moisture. I don't use it that way. I just really like incorporating it into my skincare routine. Next, I actually have an empty of a hand lotion I got from a nail salon. It's a nail salon my friend and I used to go to fairly often before we started doing our own nails a lot more often. If I'm being honest, my cuticles are a hot mess and I do need just to go in to get that like cleaned up. But uh, we went right before the holidays and they were giving out like free calendars and these little lotions, which was really cute. So this is the Dream Body Olive Oil and it was definitely a lot slipperier than I'm used to for hand cream because I do tend to use actual creams like this one this is a body cream this is my favorite thing to use from Bath and Body Works and it is a thick consistency whereas this lotion has a very thin consistency but it was still a very good lotion and I did enjoy it again I love these tubes because you can cut them open get everything out my last skincare related empty are all of my makeup cloths I always have at least like four of these in every one of these videos so I have one empty of my favorite purple night calming cleansing towelettes from Neutrogena and then I have three of their usual ones the makeup removing cleansing towelettes 
The reason I always have so many of these is I use them every night to take off my makeup and I can buy these in bulk at Costco. It just makes it so affordable. I only have two hair care empties, so let's jump to those first and then we'll get into the makeup. My first hair care empty is the Diva Curl Super Cream Coconut Curl Styler. This is pretty expensive for this bottle. This is five fluid ounces and I believe it's like between $25 and $30, which is a bit much. I did love the way that this worked in my hair, but I have found a dupe and it's from Cantu. I'll throw a picture up right here. And the Cantu one actually works better for me than the Diva Curl one. So, well, I'm glad I kind of went out and tried a bunch of Diva Curl products and kind of got a routine going. I'm now really personalizing the routine and the products that really work for me. So I did get a request for this. I will be doing an updated curl styling routine sometime in the next couple of weeks because I am going to have to switch up my routine once the weather changes and it starts getting a little bit more hot and humid. The next product that I have an empty of, of course, is also from Diva Curl. And this is the Believe In Miracle Curl Plumper Leave-In Treatment. I love this packaging because it's a tube so you can cut it open and get everything out. This smells amazing. I kind of want just like a candle of this. I have no idea what it smells like. It just smells very good. This was also very expensive, but unlike the Coconut Curl Styler, I've not found a dupe for this yet. And I am feeling a difference in my curls now that I don't have my favorite like leave-in styler, which is a bit unfortunate. So I think this one I'm probably gonna repurchase and keep using until I can find an adequate dupe for it. Whereas I've already found a nice dupe from Cantu for the other product. So on to the makeup. My first empty is a primer from Too Faced. This is the Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer. This has been my go-to primer for like all of like January and February because it's just so moisturizing and it works so well as a primer. Again, I love the squeezy tube packaging. Cut it open, get everything out. This is really the only time of year that I use super moisturizing face primers because I do tend to sweat a lot in the summer and I get very oily. So for the rest of the year, up until like fall, October, I will use a super mattifying primer. So my drawer is like full of mattifying primers right now and I think I only have one more moisturizing primer. And we're getting into April. I'm hoping the weather's gonna start changing, so I'm not gonna purchase this. This was actually given to me as a gift, so I don't think I'm gonna purchase this again, at least until I start needing a moisturizing primer, at which point, I don't know if I would go for this one. I do like it, but it is a bit pricey. Speaking of pricey primers, <laughs> this is uh, this is actually like a little sample I got from Guerlain, and this is the Laure Essence ooh, okay, Radiance Concentrate with Pure Gold Primer loved this primer. I actually kind of hated how much I loved this primer because I'm never gonna buy it. This is crazy expensive. It's like $80 for a primer. It felt great on my skin. I love the way it worked under makeup. It, it worked amazingly, but I just need to forget about it. <laughs> we just need to stop this right here. If I ever had the opportunity to get a sample again, I would 100%, but I can't buy this. I can't let myself buy that. <laughs> I actually have two empties next of kind of the same thing. I got two mini sizes of the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. None, neither of these shades really worked that well for me. I have the shades Vanilla and Custard and I mixed them to work under my eyes. I've scraped out as much as I can from these and I feel like this was just meh. I definitely picked this up because it's been kind of like a cult favorite and I've heard a lot of great things about it. So I picked up some minis to see if it worked for me and it just was like a meh concealer. Like I know I can get better working concealers at the drugstore, so I would never repurchase this or purchase the full size, but I'm glad that I was able to try it out and like form my own opinion on it. That being said, meh. <laughs> my next empty looks pretty gross, but it was actually a really good product. This is the Clear Brow Gel from Pixie by Petra. And you see how it's like black? because the tube is clear. <laughs> so I've actually scraped out everything that I can and there's just the remains or the remains of the brow gel on the sides of it. I actually really liked this brow gel. It's a bit expensive. It's almost as much as the ABH clear brow gel, so don't think I would rebuy it. If anything, if I was going to spend that much money, I would go for the ABH one. But it was a really good product that surprised me from Pixie. I just hate the clear packaging. <laughs> Like this looks gross, this used to be clear. But since I use dark brow products whenever I'm doing my brows, uh, I guess I could do a better job of cleaning off the spoolie, but there are spots on the spoolie where I can't 
just I would have to like leave oh, and then this would dry out like now so um, I like my brow products to not be see-through <laughs> but this was a great product um, if you're in the market I mean I tried this out because I'm curious about pixie and I want to learn more about pixie but if I'm gonna spend the same amount of money I would just go for the ABH clear brow gel it's so good Next, I have a liquid eyeliner from Milani. This is the iTech Extreme in Blackest Black. Now, this is a felt tip liner. It's super, super hard. <laughs> like, it's not flexible at all. So, this was not good for making a wing. Like, couldn't get a good wing out of this. For a nice wing, I like a felt tip liner. This was actually good just for stamping color on my lash line. So, if that's all you're looking for, this is great. It's affordable. It's really black. But if you're looking for something that'll give you a nice wing, and this isn't it. And my last empty is a Fix Plus Mini from MAC. This is in the rose scent, which is my favorite. I actually just went and bought a full size of the rose one because I love it so much. Um, I believe I've used up all of my mini Fix Pluses as of right now. I'm looking at my drawer. Yeah, I don't have any more left. I love buying the little kits of the three minis during the holidays. And they actually still had them around early March. Uh, I think that's a great deal. I love these minis. The only downside is that I've been told these cannot be used in back to Mac. And I thought, well, maybe if I bring in all three, maybe all three of the minis could be used as back to Mac. And they said no. So that's one downside. Uh, I do like the minis. I like trying out the different scents. But if you're looking specifically for products that you can do the back to Mac with, the, it needs to be a full size. It can't be these little minis, even though it's a decent amount of product in here. So those are all of my empties for this volume. Let me know down below what's the last product you used up and what you thought about it. I really like these videos because I can actually like gather my thoughts about a product after using it for weeks and weeks and weeks and really give you like my final thoughts on it and whether or not I'm going to rebuy it because I feel like that's the true review of a product is did I finish it up and am I going to get it again? Thank you guys again for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.